Outside Kids, I hope you're having a wonderful Sabbath day so far. Now this song that we're going to sing simply says, it's a great thing to praise the Lord, to love the Lord, thank the Lord, and to serve the Lord. So enjoy as we sing together. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord, oh yeah. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yeah. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. great thing to thank the Lord. It's a great thing to thank the Lord. It's a great thing to thank the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yes. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yeah. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yeah. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. All right. So I hope you really enjoyed that song. And remember, as you go through the week, to walk with the Lord, to praise the Lord, because it's a great thing to serve the Lord. All right. See you next time. Bye. Good morning, children. For today's craft, we're going to do uh, the miracle that Jesus did of turning water into wine. Now, that was the very first miracle that Jesus did. And um, it was beautiful because it was done in a wedding, friend's wedding. And it just showed that God wants us to be happy and God wants us to have a good time in our lives. Uh, even though sometimes we may have challenges and sad days as well. So the very first miracle was him turning water into wine and we're gonna make this this is a wine jar uh, representing those days and then Jesus um, said pour water into the jars that were empty and they poured water in and then when they poured something out it was no longer water but it was wine and it wasn't just any kind of wine which is really grape juice beautiful fresh grape juice it was the most beautiful the most delicious grape juice anybody ever tasted so we're gonna make this craft again Jesus turning water into wine. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with this craft. For our craft today, we're going to need two sheets of paper. Ideally a little bit thicker paper, but any paper will really do. Also, we're gonna need a little bowl or plate or just uh, that 
I'm not sure what it's called, but the geometri geometrics tool that allows you to draw a circle. So basically we're gonna need a circle right about, you know, like this size, maybe, you know, taking up quite a bit of the space of the, of the paper itself. Mm, then we're going to need scissors uh, and we're going to need at least a couple of colors, which ideally a little bit of blue and some red, or I'm gonna use this because this is gonna be watercolor and this is gonna be wine color. And, uh, I might even take a little bit lighter blue. I think I'm gonna use my, um, my crayon for blue because it's, it's still the same color, but it's gonna be a little bit more gentle as water is, but think blue and wine, red wine color. Uh, and also we're going to need some glue. So again, you can use either stick, uh, or liquid glue, whatever works best for you. And last but not least, we're going to need a sharp object. So it could be the tip of your um, scissors or like a thick needle, or I'm gonna use this sharp tool, but whenever you work with sharp tools, of course, as always, make sure the adults um, are supervising whoever is allowed to use the uh, sharp items. All right, so let's get started. So to start with, grab one of your sheets of paper and use a pencil, uh, if you like, actually I forgot to say in the beginning that I might need a pencil, and draw an outline, we're gonna draw an outline of a jaw, a jar that, um, you know, that resembles the kind of jar that Jesus' times was used, in Jesus' times was used to store drinks in, to store water, as well as wine, which was really, you know, uh, non-fermented or fermented wine in, in the jar. So I'm gonna draw something like that and I'm gonna create like a little rim here and maybe like a little nice rim here. Okay, so something like that. And then also like right about in the middle of that jaw, jar, maybe, I keep saying jaw, it's a jar. <laughs> draw a window and we're gonna make a cutout in that window so this one you don't need to make a uh, very mm, you don't need to make it very strong you can just keep it with a pencil so we're gonna create it like draw a box like this okay and just don't need to color it in or anything like that and and right there in the middle i'm gonna put like a little like a belly button type um type of uh, round and so this is gonna be the jaw jar of uh, wine and what I'll do I'll just go ahead and grab a you know maybe black marker and I'm gonna write this here Jesus turns water into wine so I'll just write water into wine okay so again, you can decorate it, whatever you like to do. I'm just gonna do a little bit nicer. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that. Cool, so water into wine. Maybe I can just do this as well. Excellent, and what I'll do now as well, I'm gonna make an outline with, maybe I'll use a brown one, a brown pen, or a marker in this case. I'm just gonna create a nice little outline. And feel free to color it in any way you want. The jaw, jar, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying it like that. At least I catch myself after that, but here's a jar, and in those days, by the way, jars were, some of the jars were massive, they were huge um, because they didn't have the kind of running water that we have today. And they, they didn't have like, you know, a tap, they could just open. Everything had to be drawn from wells and stored in, in containers um, in, in order to be able to use it. So there's, uh, we have a lot of luxuries today that we kind of take for granted and uh, don't even think about how blessed we are to have the current, the modern technology for everything. Everything is so easily accessible, so we should be very, very grateful for it. So you can color in the jar any way you want. It's up to you. I'm just gonna do it like this. 
Okay. Mm. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can color it in a little bit. I just wanna keep it very light, I think. I'm gonna use this, because this color is very neutral. So, but you can color the jar any colors you like. gonna do this okay so that's my jar I hope you have yours colored in I hope again feel free to pause this video and just color it in any way you see fit any way that you like that looks pretty to you and there's just no limit except for your imagination all right so now let's grab the other sheet of paper and uh, put our plate over it and again just think about you know if you want to know how big this needs to be think about from the center here just like roughly it should cover a big good chunk of the jar itself okay so this is right about the right size so I'm gonna go ahead and just put uh, just put this plate over here and cut out or rather draw out a shape and there it is, I have a nice circle. So that's it, I don't need the plate anymore. Um, so what I'll do now, I'm gonna maybe draw like, find a center here, so some things, this one is actually disrupting my vision because <laughs> I can see it from underneath. But like right about here is the center, so I'm comfortable with that. And I want you to draw a line across this, just draw a line across this, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it in, in the, you know, that quality video, but right there, it's just that circle. I put it middle and I drew a line across it. And now what I want you to do is just go ahead and color in one side of the circle as a wine color and one side as water color. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward on that probably just to save, it, save us a little bit of time. So here is my wine jar and uh, here's my wine and water. What we need to do now is actually um, take the sharp object. So again, use the help of your parent or older sibling who has used this. And I want you to, where you have the middle of that circle, just poke a nice little, be careful not to tear it. Again, you can use the tip of the scissors. If you have a, pun a hole puncher, that's like perfect. Uh, but I'm just gonna, whoops. Uh, just got to be really careful and again make sure it's an adult using the sharp object I'm gonna create a little hole in there. So it's like the hole is you can see it's you know You, you can see it. It's not like a small tiny hole. It's you know, it's um, you know big enough But not not huge or anything. Whoa, and I just kind of made a tear, but that's okay And then the same thing you want to make the same hole in this one so it has to be quite a bit higher than this window because this is the window that we're gonna cut out but uh, first poke a hole and again I'm gonna twist mine to create a little round hole in there okay and it's okay if it's not perfect no problem at all okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of flatten it out here all right so what you want to do now and again ask for help is cut out this window just cut it out now i could use a sharp one and it will make it really easy for me to cut out but most of you probably don't have this so i'm going to show you how you can do that with your scissors so first of all just uh, cut in a little bit of a, a line on this line here just a little bit okay and then open it up and put your scissors in that hole and try to make it tidy uh, try to make to, to make the cut tidy, okay? So again, use whatever method you can, but uh, ask for help from adults if you need to, to cut out this hole nicely, okay? There it is, and I'm gonna cut it like this, like a little window into the jar so we can see 
what's happening inside the jar as Jesus is turning water into wine, which was an amazing miracle, his first miracle. Oops, that he made. Okay, you gotta be careful not to tear it, which I did a little bit here. I tore it a little bit. And I'm just gonna tidy up because it just has a little flake here. Okay, so that looks good. And what I want you to do now, just put this aside for a minute and grab that sheet of paper that you had left over from the circle that you cut out. And I want you to cut out like uh, maybe one strip of about half a centimeter wide or so. It could be a little bit wider, but I think about half a centimeter is a good one. So again, ask for help if you need to, but cut out a little strip of paper like this, okay? And we're not gonna need any more of this paper. And I want, what I want you to do with this paper is really just bend it, in, fold it in half and use a little bit of glue to kind of glue it together. So this paper is a little bit reinforced. It doesn't need to be thick or anything, but just a little bit reinforced. Oops, and my glue has jammed my <laughs> glue opening. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna, again, just cut out about half a centimeter wide strip from my paper. I just used from the short side of the paper, which is fine and just uh, fold it over like that, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold it again. Whoops, just make sure it's done well. Fold it in again. It's a little bit more glue here, looks like needed. What we're gonna do now is cut it in half, really. So I'm just gonna make a quick fold just to see where the half is and cut it in half. So there it is. We have two strips of doubled, double kind of flexible paper that has been glued. And what you wanna do now is go ahead and put this uh, wine circle behind this and put these papers through. Now, if you feel like there is not enough space here to put them through, make a cut a little bit wider if you need to, right? But uh, go ahead and put both of these through like that, okay? And then also while you're holding this end to make sure it doesn't just run away from you, I want you to very carefully, and again, ask for help if needed, also put it through this hole in the wine section as well. So that way these two pieces of paper, one is on this end, one is on this end. And now to secure it in place, we're gonna spread it out like this and like that and we're gonna go ahead and glue it to, uh, well, we don't, we, we were not gonna glue it here, uh, but we're gonna glue it up on this side, I think. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna glue it on this side. So what I will do now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, oops, a little bit of glue here, there we go. Okay, and a little bit of glue on this side. <laughs> okay, well that was completely unintended and it's a little bit of a disaster, but I think I, I will manage or try to manage to recover from it. So my glue was, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it on here now. Okay, all right, if it happens to you, not to worry, just ask somebody to help you tidy it up real quick, okay? And I'm gonna glue it onto there. Oh, it's not wanting to glue. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, okay, I wanna make sure it doesn't glue to, to the wine and water page beneath it, okay? So just glue it up to here. And don't worry, these paper glues, they dry very quickly and then they don't leave hardly any residue, okay? And uh, so as far as what we're gonna do here, we want to, you know, we, we cannot glue it because it's not gonna allow it to move like the way that we did at the front. So this one was okay to glue, but if we glue on the other side, we're, our miracle is not gonna work. So what you wanna do is go ahead and fold this in like this and like that and just put some glue in between. So that way it'll hold this paper steady so this paper doesn't, uh, doesn't really um, 
uh, you know, slide out of these little strips. So I'm gonna use this glue here and I'm gonna put some right in between, but make sure you don't put glue on this disc, the, the circle that you had cut out, okay? It's very important to make sure that you only put the glue on this, this little, these little strips, but not on the wine itself, wine and water disc itself, okay? So I'm gonna put it like that, okay? All right. So now this is what it is. All right, let me just move this out of the way. Just remove everything. And so here is, we got our water and wine miracle. So Jesus had water in the jugs or like the people had water in the jugs and when Jesus spoke, that water turned into wine. Okay, oops, let me just make sure. Yeah, so it's very important that this is not glued on top of it. So Jesus turned water into wine. And again, there was wine in a jar. So you're just spinning this circle. There was wine in the jar, and then Jesus turned water into, sorry, there was water in the jar, and Jesus turned water in, into wine. I hope you had fun doing it as much as I did. I hope you didn't have a disaster with the glue that I did, <laughs> but um, there it is. Uh, Jesus' first miracle, turning water into wine. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. our children's song this morning our song that we're going to sing is called i've got peace, peace like a river i've, I've got, got love like the ocean, ocean and i've, I've got, got joy, joy like, like a fountain, fountain in my soul okay so there are some actions to go with it yeah. so just follow them and you'll get to know it and then you can always re um, rewind back and listen to the song again okay so i hope you enjoy it okay yes. let's go okay crystal you want to um start that one and let's go yeah. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like the river, I've got peace like the river in my soul. I've got peace like the river, I've got peace like the river, I've got peace like the river in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul.